Hi, welcome back. It's Bella on the Rocks here today with Daya. Today we are here to discuss Daya Hair Binger. So let's get to it. So Daya, why did you decide to start your own business? Well, after graduating, graduating school, I always wanted to work in the fashion and uh, PR, but it was very difficult to find uh, a job. Uh, I was even working, yeah, for free, you know, doing oh internships um, to, yeah, to find my position and then eventually to get hired. Um, at one point, I worked for a PR agency in Amsterdam, but, you know, uh, when I realized that they wouldn't hire me, I was just there uh, working for free. I decided to quit a job and to travel first a little bit and then, you know, to think further about what to do. So when I came back from my travel, I decided to start my own uh, company because I didn't want to work for a boss anymore. Of course, uh, yeah, I had to think about, you know, what my passion would be and it was feel I was going to work. I always had a thing for hair. I really had a lot of crazy <laughs> hairdos. <laughs> Can you believe at one point my hair was like, you know, just this short. I was basically almost bald. So that's why, um, yeah, I want to go into the hair business. And also at the time, the hair business was really uh, booming. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yes. So that's why you start your hair company. That's good to yes. know. And where is your hair source from? My hair is coming from India. Uh-huh. And I decided to go to India because I really wanted to go back to the source so and to be sure about what, what I was actually selling. Because before I started, I uh, first ordered some hair online. Well, you know, the hair arrived, it was beautiful, but once I installed it and also beat the hair, it was just a complete mess. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> oh, yeah. We all, I think we all have a right? to relate to that, yeah. So I'm like, okay, I want to start my own hair business, but for me it's important to go back to the actual country, to do research there, and, you know, then to buy my hair, uh, yeah, right away. So, of course, India is known for uh, ladies having long and beautiful thick hair, so the decision to go to India was made, yeah, very quickly. And also the important fact is India is the, op the only place where the hair is being offered, you know, uh, in yeah, huge amounts. So, yeah, the decision uh, to go there was uh, pretty easy. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Well, did you actually face any challenge while you were in India? Well, yes, of course, but it was a very challenge uh, before going to India because I need to have a plan. So before I made a whole list of companies I want to visit. Uh, I also reached out to them actually to let them know that I was coming and to schedule uh, appointments. Uh, while I was there, it was yeah, a little bit of shock <laughs> because India is a completely different world. I remember, you know, getting out from the airport. It was just, you know, a heat that was in my face. Oh my gosh. Also, the traffic was completely crazy. I remember my husband telling me, oh, you know what, we're going to rent a car and I'm going to drive. And I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> so once we arrived there and we saw this crazy traffic, you know, we were like, just, he changed his mind. He changed his mind real quick. I mean, he's a great driver, but in India, it's just impossible. Traffic is going left, right. If you're not from there, it's impossible. So we end up, you know, just having a little tuk tuk. Uh -huh. It's basically like a little uh, cap uh, that people use to go from A to B. So we, uh, yeah, had a tuk tuk and then uh, we visited several places. And the thing was very interesting because, of course, uh, the hair business is very big in India. I'm so, sure. We, yes. We visited so uh, big companies, we even visited like houses where it just had like a floor where they were doing hair. Um, you know, it was a very interesting experience. And the funny thing is, uh, we ended up buying hair from a company that was not on the list. Cause oh, our, really? Yes, because I remember we had our top top driver and at one point, you know, he was noticing that we were looking for hair. Uh -huh. So it was end of the day, it was like five o'clock, you know, it was cold, it was raining. He was uh -huh. like, you know, I know a company, but it's like one hour from here. Uh, if you want, I can bring you. And I was like, oh, Lord, one, one hour, hour. <laughs> in this little tuk tuk, you know, and then in this bad weather. But I'm like, we are in India, so we are definitely going to see this place. So we told him, okay, you know, let's, it's fine, let's go. And as soon as I arrived there, I knew, yeah, this was going to be the place. Because, you know, it was, uh, it was very organized. Uh -huh. They also show us the complete process from A to, you know, to Z. We also saw the stock room, everything. It was very uh, uh, neat, everything was very organized. And then, of course, yeah, I saw the hair that was gorgeous. They told me the price. I was like, yes, you can also deal with this. So then we ended up buying right away 10 kilos. From, 10 kilos? Uh, yes, oh my God. 10 kilos. <laughs> <laughs> and then the most funny part was, of course, we had 10 kilos of hair, but we had to go back to the Netherlands with all this hair. <laughs> and we all know that as customs, 
-hmm. And what are you going to say when you arrive at the airport <laughs> with bags full of hair? So we ended up buying two sport bags and we had our own suitcases. So we shared it, we, we divided the 10 kilos of hair. Smart yes. idea. <laughs> <laughs> we divided the hair in various uh, suitcases and you know then we took our flight and we were so lucky that at the point that we arrived at the airport there was nobody at customs so we oh. grabbed our bags and you know we run to customs <laughs> wow what an adventure yes, wow that's was. beautiful that's beautiful mm -hmm. so what does be unbelievable stand for well hey of course we stand for uh having great quality authentic raw hair and we also make custom wigs, we sell the bundles, clothes and frontals, and also we edit uh, hair products to the website. But the thing is, I don't want to be just remembered for selling hair. I also love teaching and inspiring uh, other ladies and gentlemen. So I'm also really focused on um, teaching. I love teaching, so I love teaching uh, others how to make your own wig, um, how to curl the hair, how to curl the hair. You know, I also come uh, often live on Facebook and Instagram um, to, to, to share tips, to, uh, to let them, uh, to let, yeah, the people see how I take care of the hair and uh, what kind of products you use and what you need. Mm -hmm. um, and I also like to inspire others to start their own business. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. How did you come up with the name? Well, <laughs> so tell us. I'm curious. I'm sure you are dying to know as well. <laughs> well, the funny part is, of course, we came back in the Netherlands with all this hair. Uh -huh. I didn't have no company name. I didn't really have. So you, what, wait, let me see. Let me see if I understand it. <laughs> so you decided to travel to India with your husband. Yes. No company name. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no plans yet. No. But all you know that you wanted to sell hair. Yes, exactly. With a dream. That's all you need. It's yes. the dream and the drive. And a husband who's, you know, <laughs> who's crazy enough to support, to support the idea. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we arrived in the Netherlands. I had all this hair. And of course, I need to come up with a company name. Uh, and a plan to sell the hair, actually. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so I, I didn't want to have something like, you know, hair buy or, you know, just something that, yeah, the most people already have. So I was thinking, thinking, thinking. I didn't really had an idea. So I called up my fr friend, Nilsson. He's very creative, you know, we always like to come together and uh, discuss plans, help each other with outfits or with, you know, uh, decoration or up upcoming activities. So at one point, he just was like, yeah, unbelievable. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Seems like we don't need a Jason in our life. <laughs> right? And then we decided to put the word B in front of it. So then, you know, we came up with the name uh, B Unbelievable. Yeah. Okay. So it's thanks to my friend Nilsson. <laughs> <laughs> so Daya, um, any advice for our young upcoming entrepreneur? Yes. <laughs> my advice is definitely to believe in yourself, to ignore people who are saying you cannot do it, uh, you know, uh, you will not make it or whatever negativity they have to share. I mean, look at me. I came basically back from India with 10 kilos of hair. I didn't have a company name yet. I just had a dream and, you know, uh, the willpower to succeed. Cause I also remember, uh, I organized a, a, a party to launch, you know, my company and to sell the hair. And, uh, you know, I had a nice location and everything. And of course, as a beginner, you made mistakes. So my mistake was to, uh, yeah, rent this place where the location was basically downstairs. So the people who were walking from the outside on the street were not really aware of what was going on down. And um, I didn't have social media before, so my network was not that big. So yeah, the people who were there, of course, my friends and my family, uh, yeah, were very supportive. But the, all the, let's say the, yeah, the new customers, um, I think from those people only like three or four people showed up. So I spent all this money to rent a location. I spent money to have drinks, to have food. And basically at that day, I didn't make any sale. So of course it was painful, but yeah. It was a good um, experience, mm -hmm. and yeah, I definitely uh, enjoyed having that moment of you know having your own business, uh, and yeah, to start. <laughs> okay, great, great. Now since we are talking about sales, mm -hmm. how did you feel when you had your first sale? What was the excitement? <laughs> what was it like? Oh, really exciting. Of <laughs> course, because I didn't have I didn't have an actual storefront. 
because I want something online, but I also didn't have my website yet. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> so I just had Facebook and Instagram uh, where I yeah, posted my uh, items. But what I did, I turned my living room into a little shop. So I had this banner that I placed um, in okay. half of the living room to make it like a little store. I had like a little uh, Ikea closet where I showcased the hair. Then I have my price list hanging. Smart. In the other corner, I had like a little table with two chairs. So, you know, when people would come in, I would have offer them something to drink and tell oh, about... very creative. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't have much, but I made it work. So, you know, I would offer them drinks and then talk about my company. And so I actually had ladies, you know, coming over to see the hair. So I remember my first purchase, I was so happy. <laughs> it was really a uh, fulfillment. I mean, you know, that from all the stores that people can buy from, they really uh, came over to my little store in my living room to buy hair from me. Wow. Yeah, that was a really uh, grateful moment. Definitely. That's wonderful. Wow, yeah. that's, that's a great story. <laughs> <laughs> so where can our viewers purchase your hair? Well, I have my website now. <laughs> you don't have to come to her living room anymore. No. <laughs> it is www.beunbelievable.com. I also have a YouTube and an Instagram. Uh, my name there is Be Unbelievable. So yeah, you're welcome uh, to visit my website or to follow me on uh, social media or, or of course on uh, YouTube and Facebook as well. Yes, ladies. There's great deals going on. Actually, matter of fact, I just got this one. How beautiful, huh? So, get ready to be be unbelievable with Daya. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us today, Daya. It was a great opportunity to get to know you and get to know your business better. Thank and you. And I'm sure that actually there's a lot more in stores for be unbelievable. Yeah. And I wish you all the best and all the success. Thank you. <laughs> you deserve it. Thank you. And thank you so much for joining us. Today, it's Bella and Daya. Stay tuned for the latest. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Bisu, mm -hmm. bisu.